Welcome back folks, today we have a special hardware review. We're going to be taking a look at what I believe is the best setup for the classic Nintendo games, the Retro USB AVS and the EverDrive N8. To start off, let me explain what they each are. The Retro USB AVS is a high quality NES clone console. It is known as an FPGA console, a field programmable gate array. What this means is it does not use any emulation of any kind. It contains a chip that perfectly replicates the logic found within an actual NES console making it functionally identical with the major advantage that it works on modern HD televisions. The Retro USB AVS has four ports for original NES control pads which are sold separately, and it outputs a 720p with 60 frames per second. It uses original NES cartridges and saves directly to them. Now, you may be asking a question, why get an FPGA console when you could just download an NES emulator to your computer? Well, the way I see it, this is a product for someone who takes retro gaming really seriously and wants the best possible experience with high compatibility. I think of it as the video game equivalent of buying a vinyl record player. Sure, you could get a CD instead, but some people would swear it sounds better the other way. We'll take a look at the quality soon, but believe me, it is far superior to emulation. There's many different graphical quirks that you would normally see in NES games that aren't present in emulators that the AVS replicates perfectly, and you'll see that soon. Now, moving on to the EverDrive N8. The EverDrive N8 is a fantastic flash cartridge by Crix. This review model is from Stone Age Gamer. They allow you to choose a different color and label combinations. It uses a standard SD card to store ROMs onto, so you could have every single NES game that ever existed on one cartridge, which is quite amazing. The EverDrive N8 even has some really great features, including save states, cheat codes, and more. There is no better flash card maker on the market than Crix, and I'm sure the EverDrive N8 will prove to be the best one out there. Together, these two provide the best NES experience ever, in my opinion. So here's the package for the Retro USB AVS. And... As you can see, it's... Got everything on it. On the side it says AVS, has the picture, Retro USB... That one, same same deal on the other side. And on the back is a little diagram of the console itself. Uh, 720p it outputs in, it has the PAL output, NES, Famicom slots, so it has both of them. There's an expansion port, HDMI to the USB port also. So yeah, it's got it's got everything built into it. Player NES carts in amazing HD. So let's open this up. All right, so let's slide this open now, very carefully. Alright, here we go. And as you can see, it you can already tell that it has the proper NES colors right out right out of the box. Look at that gray. So first we'll look at all the parts that come with it. It comes with an HDMI cable. Looks good. And it comes with a USB USB cable right here that will help power the console on. And that's nice. And this must be the the plug, the, the adapter. Alright, so it comes with this as well. So yeah, it has everything you need just to get started. The AVS. Alright, now let's take the AVS itself out of the box. Oops. Okay, yeah, pulling this out to take a closer look. It's very tightly packed. Okay, there we go. Oh, something down there also. So here's the AVS. As you can see, uh, we'll set that aside. I just want to take a look at this little booklet that comes with it real quick. And yeah, it has the diagram. It's kind of boring though. We'll just set that aside now. Not bad. So it really does look like an NES from from around the corners and everything. They managed to get very close without 
you know, infringing on any sort of copyright. It looks like an NES in a lot of ways, but it still kind of has its own identity as a device, and it has even the same kind of buttons that click. It's very nice looking, and it feels very nice and sturdy. It feels like very, very high quality plastic and everything. And it has a little flap right here, which is where the NES cartridge would be going into. And that right there is the Famicom cartridge port because they're a little bit different. So this part is where you put a Famicom cartridge into, and yeah, that'd be nice if you had one. So if you have Japanese NES games, then you could play those on here as well, which is very nice, I have to say. I'm just going to close that. And it, it doesn't really click, it just kind of shuts, you know. So moving on to the EverDrive N8. This is the package I got from Stone Age Gamer. It's a very nice deluxe package. It's, this is the uh, slightly more expensive option that comes with a nice case, like a VHS case that protects the, the cartridge and everything. And it's really nice, I gotta say. This is a this is a very nice item, the EverDrive. This is the best NES cartridge you can possibly get. It even has a nice gold sticker on the back to show that it's a Crix certified product. <laughs> Crix is the uh, he's the manufacturer who created the EverDrive. He's very talented at what he does. So, developed in Ukraine, deluxe edition. This is the, the deluxe edition of the N8. So let's crack this thing open and take a look inside. The one I got is the peppermint color. This is the peppermint EverDrive N8. And it looks really nice. I really like the way this looks. It has the green label on it. And these are a bunch of little stickers and whatnot that came with the device. Now let's pull some of these out. So there's the Stone Age Gamer. Is a magnet, it looks like. Fridge magnet. Looks like an NES controller. The, the Deluxe Edition comes with all these little goodies that comes with it, so... Gaming Devolved. I really like this website a lot, Stone Age Gamer. They've always provided good quality products and all that. Jackson, so that's his card. It looks like a little NES controller. This right here looks to be a troubleshooting guide. I don't think we'll have much issue with that, but uh, there it is if you want to see it. If you want to see what you're getting into. Alright, well, we'll set that aside. Alright, just gonna pull this out. The EverDrive N8. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Little stickers for the NES controller, that's cool. If you have an NES controller, you can slap that right on your uh, on your controller. That's that's really neat. I didn't realize it was going to come with that. Well, I happen to have an NES controller. Maybe we'll put that on later on. So yeah, that's, that's a nice little bonus they gave us. Anyway, moving on. This is... This is all stuff that comes with the, the deluxe package. And that's another sticker, it looks like could slap that right on your uh, on your AVS to show that you're rocking an EverDrive. So the basic controls and everything, it's all laid out here. B, A, because th there's, a, there's a system menu actually. It doesn't just boot into the cartridge. There actually is a little menu and we'll take a look at that closer. So it's nice that there's um, that there's a little guide that goes with the, the EverDrive. EverDrive 64, SD2 SNES. I need to get that stuff. I need to get that SD2 SNES. I really want that badly. So, yeah, that's, that's a nice little pamphlet, little booklet. Set that aside and... Pull this out. Looks like another sticker. If I can only get it out of the box. It looks like they're caveman mascots. Well, I'll, I'll just show it to you like this. Looks like a sticker of him. Stone Age Gamer, of course. I'll just slide all that stuff back in now. Toss all the little stickers back in. Troubleshooting guide. It's a nice box, too. It's a nice protective protective case, and it fits the cartridge perfectly. I might want to get a couple of these for my other NES games, to be honest, because these are really nice. 
All right, slide that in there and we'll pop this EverDrive out and take a closer look at it. The EverDrive NH, just gonna close that and set it aside. Now the peppermint color looks really nice. It looks really, it, this is the best color in my opinion. I could have gotten any kind of color I wanted. You can choose and like mix and match. And the contacts of course look clean. It is a brand new cartridge after all. Everything looks nice. EverDrive NA, it says that in the corner if you look through it at the board. And got Crix's sticker on the back. This very much, it feels good, it feels sturdy. It's like a very high-end product. You're not, you know, they're not messing around Crix in, in these guys. They're uh, making very high-quality NES products for you. So I have to say I'm very pleased with what I've got so far. I'll set that right there. That's a great little, great little device. Great little piece for the collection. So, the EverDrive N8. I just want to show you on the side. They have an S this thing runs on an SD card. So all the ROMs you actually load onto an SD card for the EverDrive N8. That's how it works essentially. Now mine didn't really come with one, but you can ask to, to for for one to come with the case as well. And you have to kind of pick pick and choose the right kind of card because to make sure it works properly. So anyway, inserting the EverDrive N8 into the uh, ABS, it goes in just like that. You have to let it click in, and it just closes right over it. It fits perfectly. There's not really much more to be said. So yeah, that this has to be the best, the best sort of setup I can think of. There is what would be your NES controller. This is a real NES controller from the uh, 90s and 80s that you would actually use on a real NES, and it works perfectly. And as you can see, the SD card I have inserted has a bunch of ROMs built into it, and you got to kind of pick, pick pick a small SD card. Don't pick something too big, otherwise it won't work. I went through a bunch of cards that weren't working, and uh, as we power it on, we can take a look at how how it runs and everything. So let's turn this power this on, and let's jump right in and play the retro USB AVS. Here we are at the Retro USB AVS's menu, and as you can see, this is the menu that pops up the first time you boot up the console, and there's several different things to choose from. Uh, the first thing we'll take a look at it here is cheat codes. There's different kinds of Game Genie codes you can input here. Of course, we wouldn't be using this with the EverDrive because the EverDrive actually has its own cheat codes built in, so we'll exit from there. Uh, input options. So you can actually assign menu buttons here. You can assign uh, different kinds of hotkeys. There's a tur turbo option, uh, autoplay. It's a uh, it's very cool stuff. You can check that out as well. It's interesting that they added that as well. They didn't just stop at making this uh, emulation console. So uh, when we go to picture settings, there's different video modes. We're going to choose NTSC obviously because we're here in America. Uh, pixel aspect ratio is one I would recommend checking out. You want to get a 4:3 aspect ratio to get the original NES experience which would be uh, somewhere in between this setting and uh, this one right here. So between these two would be kind of ideal for 4-3 aspect ratio. To be honest though, the best way is to put it all the way out and to go into your TV settings to actually change it down to a 4-3 aspect ratio. This will give you a perfect NES screen. This is the way it is meant to be played, the NES uh, experience. This is perfect 4-3 aspect ratio taking a fully widescreen picture and compressing it downwards, which I would recommend doing if you can with your TV. So we'll just set it down to, uh, we'll, we'll set it down to where we had it before. So like around here. And you can also change the vertical borders. Um, this gets rid of, this gets rid of a little gar text garbage on the screen. If that pops up, there's a lot of customization in this console, which is really nice because you can kind of tailor it to uh, the way your TV is and the way you want to play NES games. So I'll give it a little bit of a vertical border to get rid of some of the text garb, the, you know, the graphical garbage that uh, pops up on the top and bottom when you're scrolling in RPGs. There's also a scan line option, and these, th this scan line really just gives you a bunch of vertical 
lines and going left and right changes how dark and how how light they are how noticeable it is and uh, the left side also gets more to more graphical garbage now extra sprites is interesting generally on the nes when you use extra sprites there's a little bit of uh, flickering by turning it off you actually get rid of that flickering effect which is nice and we'll take a look at that in a second as well so going in, this is the EverDrive menu. This is the menu for the EverDrive cartridge, the green one that I just showed you. Uh, we're going to go into the N8 Power Pack. This is a ROM pack I got from the internet. And as you can see, I have everything sorted neatly into folders. Uh, on this, you actually press B to, uh, to select and A to go back, which is a little bit confusing at first. It's going to be a little strange uh, doing that because usually A is uh, selecting and all that. So we'll go to some US games in the first folder, of course. Uh, the first folder is, or the th we'll do the third one. Uh, I want to show you a game actually. It begins with the letter R. It's called River City Ransom. All right, so we're starting this game, uh, River City Ransom. It's a game by Tech uh, Tecmo Japan, and it's pretty good. It's so it's a beat 'em up game. We press start, and I'm going to show you how how good this game looks on the AVS. So fast, of course, message speed. So let's see, I've held your city captive and Ryan's girlfriend hostage with my gangs of students and evil bosses. So a student is holding the entire city captive? How's that? How's, where are the police? What are they doing? So the evil bosses, meet my demands, all that stuff. Alex and Ryan, if you interfere, you'll be in for fight of your lives. Wait a minute. That's slick. So Slick has Alex and or Ryan's girlfriend or whatever. I don't even, I don't even know. Anyway, so this is like a game about like gang wars between high school students. It's kind of cool. And you just beat the shit out of people. Like, come on, come on. <laughs> just beat the crap. Like, grab this, smack the crap out of him. Get money. All right, got the crap. Okay, beat him. Barf. Oh, crap. So th these guys just keep coming out of nowhere. And, of course, they're so smart they can pick up items and they can actually use it to hit you with. And they all kind of look different and they all have different names. You see, they, they barf Terry and Perry. They all have, like, names that rhyme. So these guys, what are their names? Carrie. They all have, like, rhyming names. You notice that? Anyway, it, it looks good so far. I gotta say, it's so it's very smooth. This is 60 frames per second right now. It is really responsive. It's it, I'm using a real NES controller. It is instantly responsive. As soon as I hit the button, the input works. It just... There's no lag whatsoever. It just... It's a very good experience. And that's not bad. So... Ah, crap, bump, bumped into a wall. So, I want to show you uh, one uh, feature the EverDrive N8 has. So, it has a quick save feature, and it is a, you can assign the buttons on the main menu. So, essentially what I do is, I made it to, if you press A and B, it saves, a quick save. So, I'm going to press A and B right now together. There, that's a quick save. It's really, really easy. So, I, I, I leave, right? And to load the quick save, I made it so that if you press start and select, that loads the quick save. So who, let's say I get into a fight with these guys and I don't know they beat me up and I get hurt or something like that, and I press start and select. It pushes me back here. So you can you can just keep start you can keep on uh, reloading over and over again, and you can make a new save somewhere else, and it'll work like that again. It's a really really neat feature. It's kind of like cheating if you ask me, you know, doing a save state feature, but. If you're, playing, if you're playing something really difficult like Ninja Gaiden or something like that, uh, I'm picking this guy up, and you can use like, you can use people as weapons in this game. Is that crazy? So yeah, this is a great game. It runs really well in the AVS. Couldn't be happier with the way this looks. Let's try some other games out. So to go back to the main menu, all you actually do is just tap the reset button. So just tap the reset button, and there I am back at the main menu. Uh, what other game, good games are there? There's a. Uh, let's try Ninja Gaiden out. So I'm going to go to Ninja Gaiden, of course, Ninja Gaiden 1, obviously, you start and select, you just press B, and it works so well. The AVS is so cool because it, it first of all, it plays these games in HD, and then you have the EverDrive that goes with it, and the EverDrive lets you load all your NES games onto one cartridge, which is really nice. So. As you can see, this is the smoothest Ninja Gaiden experience I've ever had. This is so nice, because this game requires so much precision and timing that you basically need to have uh, something like this. Like, you see this right here? 
And of course, the uh, it look, like, look how smooth it is. This is exactly how I've always wanted to play in Ninja Gaiden. 60 FPS, just completely responsive controls. And it just it just runs so well. And like, yeah, I, I could not have asked for a better experience. So there's Ninja Gaiden, first level. Of course, you're gonna, you have to have a little bit of skill to play this. You check out that cool weapon I got. You, you have to keep jumping over in order for it to work. That guy, I already knew that guy was coming. And keep moving. I don't think I got hit even once. All right, here's the first boss. All right, nice, beat him. And there's a little bit of flickering because I didn't turn on the extra sprites, so it's gonna look like that a little bit. So yeah, that's Ninja Gaiden, that's not too bad. Not too shabby. And of course, here's the cutscene for Ninja Gaiden. Who are they? Who's there? I really like the sprite work of these cutscenes. Just a woman, or just a girl. <laughs> Get out of here. First, oh no, she has a gun. She has a gun. Did she shoot him? All right, we'll find out next time. Gonna reset, pop back to the main menu. <laughs> I know, I, I get sucked into that kind of game. So, because I, I went back to the main menu because I want to show you one last thing before we leave. So, the AVS, I, um, as you're aware, the AVS has a cheat code option that lets you put in cheat codes if you really, really are sucking at a game and you want to cheat at it. And we're using an, NA, an EverDrive N8, which is its own flash cartridge that has its own games in it. So that kind of thing's not going to work, but luckily the, AV, uh, the, the N8 has its own cheat function built in. So we're gonna take a look at that. To, to do this, you have to press B, right? You just press select only. You wanna press select only. And then you press select and you go to cheats. So here is the cheat menu for the uh, EverDrive N8. And the way it works is you need to go on Google and find out what the cheat code is and what the cheat code does. So the first line is gonna be its own cheat. What I do is I I got this one from Google. This is a Dragon Warrior 3, uh, Dragon Quest 3 cheat code that allows you to have unlimited HP, which would come in very handy and make the game very, very not fun, but very fun at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. So this is the cheat code if you want to know. Uh, SZ's last one. And there. And cheats are enabled, as you can see, and we just press A and we're out. So then... In order to select this with the cheat codes, you want to press start, and pressing start will bring us to the game. Here's Dragon Warrior 3. All its gloriousness, the intro. And as you can see, it looks great, it looks awesome. Dragon Warrior 3, you know, pressing start. So, the sound, I have to say about the AVS, is that the sound in the AVS sounds so good. It's not piercing, it just, it's just so warm on your ears. It sounds so nice, you know? Like, listen to this, it sounds really nice. And there's the mom, of course. Today's a very big day for the hero. He has to get up and go unsupervised around the world before we sh sh check out the Chico we gotta go talk to the king because they force you to do that well, after we talk to the king we're gonna run outside the the city and see if the enemies can hurt us I'll show you how the cheats work in action you don't have to do anything to activate the cheats they just they just work like that all right sure I'll go straight to the castle thanks mom all right I'm going to the castle And as you can see, everything looks really nice. It looks nice, the graphics are great, it sounds great. This is the best way to play NES games, if you ask me. This is, there's no other way. All right, here's the king. Yep, this is, uh... All right, so the Baramos is the enemy, I know all this stuff. 
this this is one of this is probably my favorite NES game ever. This this game it holds up so well. It looks good, sounds good, everything about it is fantastic, and it, it it's scrolling well. There's no, no there's no screen tearing. Everything about it is so perfect. This uh, this device you know it captured the NES the way it's meant to be played. This is what how pro probably how people played it back in the 80s. Amicom. So anyway, we now have left that old guy. We're gonna head off into the world and see how much damage we take from the enemies. All right, there we go, the overworld. Great music. There's seven slimes that appeared ready to attack me. Let's try our best. Oh, I killed one. Now, he hit, he hit me, and you see that my HP is not going down. That means that the cheat code worked. So I can basically just I can beat all these guys, and it'll be super easy. They're all just attacking me, and it's not doing anything. Boom! Attack him one more time. So it's not doing any damage whatsoever. It's saying I'm unhurt. Let's see. It did one damage, but it actually did no damage. So yeah, the cheat option in the ABS is not in the ABS, but in the N8 works perfectly, it works just as well as I wanted to. If you wanna speed run uh, an NES game, you don't wanna spend too much time, you could use all these crazy cheats, like HP cheats, XP cheats, especially for Dragon Quest. And if you ask me, so far this is probably the best way to play the original Dragon Quest trilogy, possibly. Like this, if, if you wanna go the extra mile, you could obviously play the, uh, the Switch versions that just came out, but if you wanna go the extra mile, no way beats this this, this way. So let's just finish these guys off. So why not? It just takes so long these fights if you're doing it alone. I'd probably just stop out of boredom. All right, one more guy left. And as you can see, I'm completely un unhurt. Defeated slime. I leveled up. Nice. That's not bad. New spell. Well, hit the hit the reset button now just to go back. You saw what the how the cheat codes work. So basically, this is honestly the best way to play NES games. This is hands down. If it. Obviously, you could get a you know an NES classic, you'd get a Super Nintendo classic, something like that. But it's not going to be FPGA as accurate as this with all the little graphical glitches, all the little little quirks that an NES is supposed to have. This is as close to a real NES experience as you can get. And look at all and the of course it's not just the ABS that's the, that's the good part here. It's also the EverDrive. The EverDrive has all these crazy games. I'm telling you this right now. This is every single NES game that exists. I've not. You could fit every single NES game that exists on one little SD card. This is all of them. It's crazy. I can like just go through all of them. These are, this is all of them. It's insane. I could. Uh, well, what are NES games? Other. I mean, it's just there's everything here. Look at this. Just play that, right? So yeah, the EverDrive NH and the uh, and the Retro USB ABS. It's the best combination to, for the best way to play NES games. I mean. What else could I say? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little review of the Retro USB AVS and the EverDrive N8. Uh, I want to thank Stone Age Gamer for hooking me up with the with the N8. It's a uh, very nice of them to discount it for me for this review, and it was it's just a great device, and I'm very happy with both of them. I think it was well worth the money. I think it was a, a great device overall, and I will be playing this. I will be covering most NES games with this from now on. It's going to be a very important part of my collection. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.